21 recipients, of, like people or different organizations that have helped the See the Riverside community and have like done like big contribu contributions towards the See the Riverside community. See the Riverside community is a unique community in Minneapolis. It is a culturally dominated neighborhood that builds a bond between all of its residents. Our community, um, as you all may know, our community is dominated by East African immigrants many of whom fled from their homeland because of war and corruption. And some 20 years has passed and most of us still can't go back to our homeland because the situation there only worsened. So for most of us, this is where we call home now, in, the, in this country and in this neighborhood. Um, as we started, as newcomers to this nation, many of us pictured this country as a utopia compared to our homeland that was being crippled by situations going on there. Um, as we know, this country was founded by immigrants. Um, the East African immigration here, between, between the certain times of the war going on in East Africa, is the second largest group of people to come here following the slave trade from Africa. The East African community was. Um, the, as, we, um, as we came and started living in this community, We've had our positives and negatives. Recent events of tragic situations has crippled our community and turned a heart, turn a, turned, um, ripped a hole in our community as a community. Um, situations of violent attack, violence and um, violence has crippled our community. Uh, has uh, crippled our community. Um, um, with negative issues starting to submerge in our community, false media representation has only worsened our community's image by painting our wonderful culture as a violent and bloody culture. So, um, we, our community has received its um, cuts of social injustice and inequality through its hard times going through. So what do you do when the community you're living in is being crippled by all these events going on when we're being overlooked as a community because not only because of our culture but because of many factors that are affecting our community well what, what we do is we create the Cedar Riverside Youth Council <laughs> the Cedar Riverside Youth Council was created in response to the critical situations happening in our neighborhood a group of youth in the Cedar Riverside neighborhood said enough was enough. They were tired of watching their community die right in front of them. With a common entrance, with a common interest and a common goal, they um, they created the council. They came to sit down and create the council. They were wor um, they were working hard for the same goal, for the same common for the common wealth of our Cedar Riverside neighborhood. The council started to address issues that were important to them and to the youth in the in the neighborhood. The, co the creation of the council was a success. They created projects and events for the community to help to help the recovery process going on at the, to help the recovery process. The council does a lot of work with com with the community. We partner up with other organizations for the to help our community. Uh, for example, one of my favorites was when the council partnered with the Citizens for Fair Redistricting Committee, to which they were creating a map, a proposed map, to redistrict the city of Minneapolis and to give our community a voice and a word in what's going on. And successfully, the proposed map has passed. So things like that that the council does that helps our community in the long term and short term. Um, each and every member of our community brings individual unique skills to the council. We couldn't do what we do if it wasn't for the hard work and effort for each member. They were uniquely special. I hope all of our members use their leadership skills they developed in the, in the youth council to help further this community and to eventually go back to our homeland and help our country back. And for all the um, young kids in the council sitting in the audience right now, I just want to tell you guys that eventually you guys will be up here doing what we do. You guys will eventually be running the youth council. 
So all you guys have to do is just have an open heart, open mind, stay loyal to what you do and have a good passion, good passion for helping your community. And one more time, I just want to thank everyone for coming to tonight's program. And we have a good show for you tonight. Up next, I have the pleasure to, um, of introducing the District 5-9 Secretary, Carrie Dizak, on stage. Senator Carrie Senator, Dizak. sorry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me here. My name is Carrie Dizak. I'm the state senator for the area. It's currently District 59 come November. Um, next year, it'll be Senate District 60. I've been here many times and I've worked with many of you and I look forward to working with you in the future and I'm like so happy to see so many um, young people here because like the video said, um, and, I, and I hope she puts the video on Facebook or someplace, um, or YouTube. I think it's, it's great because you are our future and so we do want you involved and we do want you having fun and we want to keep you involved. So thank you very much for doing this and um, I hope to uh, work with you and, and more of you in the coming years. Thanks. Thank you, Carrie Dizak. The next speaker is District 59B, Minnesota Representative Phyllis Kahn. I'm very pleased to be here. I'm very pleased to see the large number of people here. Carrie and I were looking at the um, scenes that we seen before. I said next year we're going to come for Somali Independence Day and get a picture with that camel. That'll be something that no other legislator has in their campaign literature. I'm also just, uh, I, I've been very pleased to work with MJ on various things over the last year. You've got terrific leadership in this community and it's really nice to of course sit here and look over the audience and see all of the new leadership that's going to be coming up. And so we're both anxious to work with you we're anxious to uh, uh, um, make sure you understand the importance of this election. Those of you who are old enough to vote, to vote. And those of you who aren't old enough to vote can do all kinds of other things to help show that you're strong citizens in the area. So thank you for inviting me tonight. And thank you all for being here. My name is Hamdi Mohammed, And I'm part of this, uh, the Young Achievers. But I've been around the neighborhood and stuff. So I wrote this piece about Somalia um, last summer. This is a public service announcement. Somalia is beautiful. Somalia is locked up. Somalia is poor. Somalia is art. Somalia is protest, not just when a few people show up. But this is a new generation of Somalis. No one hears as it seems. No one cares if we die. If we don't stop this, no one else will. They need clean water. Their cries and starving faces stick to me like super glue. Even with my four eyes, I never would have saw this coming. Now they're all running for the lives of their children. Their decisions make or break lives, having to choose which child might live longer, being born to nothing and dying with nothing. But Lord, oh Lord, I have hopes for their survival. I want them to have potential. For their kids' kids to grow so they no longer have to suffer like their parents had to. UNITY is what we need because both you and I bleed and cry. But do you and I really see what's going on? My people, you got to take off the shades and open your eyes. Even with your minimum wage, you can still give back. What do we do with, with our money instead? We spend it on hair, dira, and clothes. Since the world has turned on our people and another dies every six minutes, this is the time for us to unite before we lose another generation. Somalia, this one's for you. Thank yeah. you. I could offer you a warm embrace to make you feel my love when the evening shadows and the stars appear and there is no one there to dry your tears I could hold you for a million years to make you feel my Oh, God. 
Officer Mohammed Abdullahi. He's not here right now, but he's gonna pick it up for him. Sir Abdullah, he could not be here tonight. He's at a wedding, but I am his sergeant. I'm Sergeant Pat Nelson, and he is very, very grateful for the award. He was so excited about it. He called me and forgot to tell me the time to start off with, and had to call me back again. So, thank you very much. I'm sure you will. He came for me to see this. Role model of the year. I think you guys know who it is because I said that first. Can you guys please give a round of applause to Khadija Webby? I'll take that for her. In behalf, in behalf. Of <laughs> um, um, and the next word award is um, most involved parent, and it's to um, Fathomo Abdi. Abdi. Uh -huh. The next category is Community Awards Night, Most Popular Youth. Faisal Yusuf. <laughs> and we'll accept it for on his bank account. Um, next award. Presenting the Tutor of the Year, Brandy. The 2012 Community Awards Night Student of the Year is a young girl. Next award, please. I'm pleased to present the next award to the Senior of the Year, Abdullahi Ali Bari. MVP of the year is Abdullahi Dahir. Adult is 
Assalamu alaikum. The 2012 Community Awards Night, face to face with the year, most respected, most peaceful is Imam Shafi'i. A Committee Awards Night, Organization of the Year, Riverside Plaza Tenant Association. I'll take on behalf of them. Hi guys. How's your night going so far? Thank you for coming again. Um, this is a special segment of the Awards Night because it's a tribute to somebody who is significant to our community. In tribute to him, the CRYC has changed the award from the Soccer MVP to the Hassan Adan MVP award. Um, Hassan was a brother, a son, a friend, a student, and most importantly, the most optimi optimistic person we all knew. This year, the Hassan Adan award will be given to Hassan Adan himself. On his behalf, Ali Salah will pick it up. So, Hassan, me and Hassan were close friends. Me and him grew up from, from middle school all the way to high school. Me and Hassan went through a lot together and we played soccer. And I'll be happy, I'll be, happy, I'll be taking this award and we will rename it to the Hassan Adam Soccer MVP Award. Thank you guys. 2012 Funniest Youth goes to Qadr Isa, but she is not here tonight, so I will accept it on her behalf. Uh, the 2012 Youth Staff of the Year Award goes to Teresa Gonzalez. Business of the Year Award goes to Triple C Cafe. And, oh, Ipsa, is Ipsa here? Jennifer. Is Jennifer? Is Jennifer, you want to come <laughs> The 2012 Theater of the Year Award goes to Mixed Blood. Yeah, I'll accept it on their behalf. The Youth Friendly Space Award goes to Brian Coyle Sand. somebody that is really inspirational and really motivates me. Um, this is the Lifetime Achievement Award, Osman Mahan Ahmed. A 
appreciation award goes to the Red Sea for their commitment and continuous support of CSI Youth Council program. The appreciation award is hereby presented to Mixed Black Theater for their commitment and continuous support of Sierra Risa Youth Council program. I have two awards. Appreciation award for African Development Center of Minnesota and West Bank Community Coalition. See, the Riverside Youth Council Appreciation Award is hereby represented to Friends of the Mississippi River. The Cedar Riverside Youth Council's Appreciation Award is hereby presented to Cedar Riverside, um, Cedar Riverside Plaza. The Cedar Riverside Youth Council Appreciation Award is hereby presented to Cedar Riverside Neighborhood Revitalization Program. And the second award goes to, appreciation award goes to Oscar College. Um, the first appreciation award goes to the Mississippi Ma um, Watershed Management Organization. And the second one goes to Ripta. Okay, the Cedar Sinai Council Appreciation Award goes to Emerge. Appreciation Award goes to Jen Ackerman. Appreciation Award is hereby presented to West Bank Community Development Corporation for their commitment and continuous support of CSI Youth Council programs. And also the Red Sea, they're here. Appreciation award for West Bank Community Coalition. The next award goes to Somali Action Alliance for their continue, commitment and continued support for the Cedar Riverside Youth Council programs. The next award goes to Elias Mawe, Elias Mawe Madusha Times for their commitment and continued support for the Cedar Riverside Youth Council programs. Okay, the Cedar Riverside Youth Council's Appreciation Award goes to Cedar Riverside Neighborhood Revitalization Program. The co-founder of Cedar Riverside Youth Council, can you please give a round of applause to Muhammad Jama? Thank you all for coming out tonight. Welcome to Mixed Blood Theater. It is my privilege to be here today as we pay tribute to our friends and to our sponsors. For your effort to improve our community, a special welcome to our families and friends who have joined us here today. Your support and your sacrifices have played an important role in the success of today's honorees. I know you are proud of their accomplishments. We are too. Since 2010, the Cedar Rosa Youth Council have, has presented these awards to remarkable leaders. From our community, each year, the work we recognize is varied as of the community you serve. Take a moment 
on the reflection of those that have presided, presided you and the path that has been laid for you thus far. Perhaps few cultures, groups that have walked in these streets in the past. When I was asked to, uh, to give this speech at this event, honestly I did not know what to say. It was up to me, my initial thoughts was, I am tired. My brain is fried of the Youth Awareness Week. What in the world would I say? But then a voice of clarity came to me and made it very clear that I was definitely capable of providing the appropriate words for the third annual Cedar Riverside Community Leadership Awards Night. Congratulations to the winners. That voice was my friend Zach, our MC. As a, result of the, as a result, there are a few things I believe that our youth would like to express to you today. Service. Muhammad Ali once said, service to others is the rent we pay for our rooms here on earth. Among the many lessons learned here at the Cedar Riverside Youth Council, let your services, among the many lessons learned here, let your services to others be focused on where you are, what you do. As part of the community and sitting here together as family and as one, not divided. Lift them up when they are down. Guide them when they seem to be lost. And always remember this, for there will be a time when you will depend on them as much as they depend on you today. Let every moment you serve your community be as if you are serving your mother, your wife, your son, your co-worker, and your friend. They have entrusted you to partake in their needs. They have given you the wonderful opportunity to be highly successful and capable and also compassionable leaders you are today. And make no mistake, there will be a time when your leadership will be tested. Your intellectual will be challenged. Your compassion will be questioned. For it is during these times that the lessons provided by your unique skills will manifest itself. I cannot emphasize enough how important your service to our community it is today. Without passion, a man is merely planted forces and possibility, like the flint which weighs the shock of the iron before it can give forth its sparks. Henrik Frederick, a private journalist, December, 19, December 17, 1856, he said this quote, What you have achieved today and will, dis will discover tomorrow will not come to fruition without bringing desire, a passion, a leadership you have envisioned yourself to become. The Cedar Riverside Youth Council members has done this. They have done it with love and pride for their community. They have done it because they care, because we should all care. The sponsors are here in this room, thank you. The staff, thank you. Everybody, thank you. But at the end of the day, what we all have to realize is this. We're doing this not to harm each other. We're doing this to show each other that we are leaders. Each individual in this room are leaders, whether you're the youngest one or the oldest one. Because we lead our family. Because we go to work, that's being a leader. Because we play basketball, that's being a leader. That is a leader. A leader is not selected by a group of people. A leaders are sometimes born, maybe so. But leaders are made because of their desires and because of their wants. So, again, I, I just want to give a quick thank you to our executive committee to our MCs, to everybody that's showing up. It is really hard to be in this room today. But guess what? We all came here because we all care, because we know that there are leaders in this community. Again, I would like the Cedar Riverside uh, Youth Council, all of them to come up on the stage. All the council directors, all the walkie-talkie guys, all the upstairs. The council, please only.
people to hold for their class. There's enough cheer going on. Thank you. But look, look at these crowd of people. Look at them. They're young. They're energetic. But they have worked so hard to put this together. They have accomplished what many of us cannot accomplish. So, to the Cedar Rosa Youth Council, including myself, thank you. To our community, thank you. Remember, remember this. Tomorrow, there are the people that will be in charge of this city, in charge of this state, and they will be in charge of this country. So, they're taking things on their own hand at this age. So, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. So, they have achieved something many couldn't achieve. So, thank you. They work so hard. The executive team, step up, step up, the executive team. The council president, the vice president, the secretary, and the treasurer. This is the five executive team members of the group. Our president, Mubishi Jailani. Our vice president, Ayan Diria. Our secretary, Samira. Our spokesperson. And our treasurer. Well done, well done. Thank you guys.